Hello, this is Ian Kelly, and I wanted to give you a short overview of some of the capabilities that we've added here this last week in Virtual API Cloud. So if you log in with me, we can see uh, what we get. Um, two things that we've added. We've added the ability to create and edit data sets, which provides a static backend for your virtual services. If there's things that you don't get from magic strings or other options that we already have within the strength and power of service virtualization, you can do those within a data set. Once you create a data set, you can use those across any number of APIs. Um, other people can actually use those for their APIs as well. Um, so you'll see these data sets start flowing into Virtual API Cloud and we'll build these up over time. You can also create new data sets on your own. The capability that we have here allows you to attach these data sets to any of your APIs within the API editor. If you want to use any of the features, for instance, in this cars make and model data set, it just has Audis, just a couple of 2015 models, and the types of the cars that they are, you simply leverage the name syntax in your API. So once it's attached to the API, you'd simply do double curly brace make, or double curly brace model, or double curly brace type to pull that data value into your virtual API. So before we go and see exactly how to do that, let's talk about the other interesting capability that we've added, which is API Designer. So API designing allows you to start walking through the resources and collection of items that really make up your API. So what you might have as your details of your API, the resource hierarchy, the different structures within that, the types of verbs that are actually supported, and also the payloads. You can work this through with a business user and get a really good understanding of what it would look like and what it would feel like. You can also use all of the standard uh, capabilities within service virtualization um, right here. You can see any of your um, collections that you've created, you can also virtualize immediately here. So let's virtualize this CARS API. We'll go into the editor here, and one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to make this use the double curly brace for us. Um, but first, let's create the API directly off of here. You'll notice the API is now created. It's based upon that existing design. And we're going to connect it now to a data set. So we go over to data sets, and here's the available data sets. There's a music database and a make model database. We'll attach that. And we have two different options when dealing with the data set. We have random or we have sequential. So let's start with random first, and we'll attach this to our API and every call will be entirely random as to which item it picks up. Again, we'll use the double curly brace uh, to identify uh, the data value that we're looking for um, in our data set. And once we've completed that, we'll save it. And once we go in to try it now, we'll notice that all of the data values returned come directly from our data set and they're randomized. So we get the Audi A7 is the first entry, even though that's not the first entry in the data set. The Audi A8 is the next entry. Um, Q7 is the last. A4 is the second entry. So let's go back to our data set. And we're going to modify it a little bit of how it's used. We're going to ask for a sequential. Um, so now when I go in to try it now, I should go directly down through each item in the data set. I should go a3, then A4, then A5, all the way down to Q7 at the bottom. So let's try that out. A3 is the first one. A4 is the second. A5 is the third. A6, A7, A8. Now we get into the TT, in the Q5, and the Q7. And guess what? We'll return right back to the top. So this gives us the very strong power of connecting to a back-end data set also having all of the existing capabilities of service virtualization to give us things like magic strings. So if we wanted today's date or if we wanted some other feature within magic strings, we could pull that off as well. And then also it gives us the ability to have specific instances within our API. So thank you very much. I'm glad we were able to show this to you. Please try it out and give us some feedback here on the feedback button as to what you think of the features, um, or participate in our community. 
and tell us exactly what you think and, and how we can improve uh, your experience. Thank you very much. Have a great day.